Hi, my name is Chen Ling. I'm a third year PhD student at Boston University. I'm honored to be here to represent all of my colleagues to present our paper, Dissecting the Mean Magic, Understanding Indicators of Variety in Image Means. So the first problem here is what is the mean? In the previous work, researchers mostly um, focus on the text mean, like how they spread, how they become popular. And in this paper, we want to understand those image means which become viral across the communities. To be more specific, like what visual elements help uh, image mean go viral. So here we define an image means which should meet two conditions. First one is it must be shared more than one user, um, social media, and the second is it must present at least one variation on social media. So let's take an example of this Bernie Sanders means for an example. It is widely shared online and in this picture, he is sitting beside the mascot of the Boston University and this is a violation. So to understand what visual elements make a meme go viral, we developed a code book for qualitative analysis. We propose a successful meme what, um, follows the same rules of great visual artworks do, like capturing viewers' attention at the first sight. Based on this idea, we look at three dimensions of a meme. The first one is the composition. For example, like um, whether the meme is composed of a single panel or multiple panel, or if the meme use a small scale, which only include the face expression or a large scale like, uh, like a landscape. Then we look at the subject of a meme. If the meme describe a character like showing the um, particular pose of the character or uh, object uh, like a table. So finally, we take the target audience of the meme into our consideration. Um, like, you know, some memes, they required some specific background knowledge to be understood. Uh, for example, the community culture, and we suppose this kind of meme may be less likely to be shared than those memes which are easily understood by everyone. For example, a funny face. So in our paper, we define the variety as the way of the pre previous works do. Uh, we use a number the number of the times a meme is shared on social media as an indicator of its virality. Um, viral memes appears at a high frequency on social, uh, on the online services and they are shared, transformed and imitated by many people. So one example here of a viral meme is called, this is fine. It's a, a two panel fun comics, our character here, a big eye dog wearing a hat sitting in front of the table and with a cup of coffee, um, the fire roars around him. But um, the dog looks quite calm. So it's very weird actually. The subject of the meme is describing the dog comforting himself with a sentence, this is fine. So um, we may relate ourselves to the dog sometimes when we are facing a series of troubles and we can literally do nothing but smile. Um, I think that's the reason why this meme becomes so popular. We can really emphasize with the meme. On the opposite, a non-viral meme looks much bored. At first, we can hardly find the subject of the meme. It looks like a map with a bunch of small size text on it and the color contrast of it is so weak. There's nothing we can relate as to the meme and unless we read the word here very carefully uh, and trying to get the idea of it. Actually, it's a political satire and it's not for everyone. 
So to investigate our three research hypotheses, we follow a mixed method approach. We start by selecting a set of viral and non-viral images, means where we'll post on 4chan political incorrect board. And we then have six human uh, annotators, which are also our authors of this paper to label the 100 images according to the code book. Um, 50 of them are viral and 50 of them are non-viral. And finally, we train the classifier to distinguish between the viral and the non-viral image um, on the label, the data set. Okay, so here are some takeaway or from our research. In this paper, we collect data from 4chan, we define image means and the variety, and then we design a code book regarding of uh, means composition, subject, and the audience. Finally, we use classifier to predict a means variety. We generalize our conclusion to other platforms, including Twitter and Reddit. Uh, we find that on the one hand, highly viral means are more likely to use a close-up scale, contain characters, and include positive or negative emotion. On the other hand, image means they do not present a clear subject that viewers can focus on, or that include long text are not likely to be reshared by users. For example, this popular sad frog meme in the background his face is seen in a extreme close-up and his closed tearful eyes show his strong sorrow. It's very absurd, but it's iconic. Our best classifier random forest achieves 0.86 area under the cave curve, which means it can distinguish viral and non-viral means from both fringe um, communities like Fortune I mentioned, and it can as well as distinguish the means from the Twitter and Reddit. So now I will show you how our indicators generalize to other community beyond Fortune. For example, on the right, it's the most viral meme on Reddit. It's close-up photo of Peyton Manning. He looks very surfer and then confused managing to get a score on the field. And this meme is often linked in a comment thread on Reddit as a bait and switch joke. On the left, it's the most popular meme on Twitter, Rose Safe. So in this picture, the character raising Sun, aka Rose Safe, grinning and pointing his temple in a close up scale. The image are often captured with virus jokes, mocking poor decision, and making um, like failures in critical thinking. So the most famous example is tweeted this image meme along with the message on Twitter, um, you cannot be broke if you don't check your bank account. So that tweet receiving more than 74 likes and 47,000 retweets within a week. Within a week. So our um, classifier can distinguish the variety of these memes from the mainstream platform, Twitter and Reddit as well. Mm, okay, that's all of my presentation. Thank you for your attention and please follow our paper on the CSCW. Thank you.